Welcome back to a soap most sport raceway. Peter Gibbons leads the Dickies 200 as we get ready to go back to green here for round two of the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. Well, Dave, as we look at the Leland lap leaders, I can tell you this, Peter Gibbons and Jeff Lapsmith are the only two guys left out there on slick tires. And you know what? This is a green-white checker. They're going to get gobbled up. Gibbons holding down the inside line, trying to defend the lead, but he can't do it as Don Thompson Jr. on those treaded tires goes around to take over top spot. Interesting to see, too, some of the drivers moving to the outside lane, getting out of that normal racing groove, trying to use a racing line on a normal road course. And look at this. Gibbons is still on second and slicks, and here comes that green machine, DJ Kennington, into our picture right now, fourth. He come all the way from the back at the start of this race. That's right, he missed qualifying because he was racing in the NASCAR Nationwide Series in Kentucky. Got here early today, and he jumped in this car and has made a dynamite trek towards the front, but J.R. Fitzpatrick is looking to get underneath the 17 Dodge. A lot of racing going on. Gibbons is holding up that bottom line because he's still on slick tires. Those guys are going around the preferred groove, and away they go. Gibbons is getting eaten alive. Well, all the drivers, rain-treaded tires, are not gingerly making their way around this Mosport International Raceway, chasing the leader, Don Thompson Jr. in the home hardware Chevy Monte Carlo. Their second, Andrew Ranger in the Walmart uh, Ford Fusion and the Castro Dodge of DJ Kennington rounding out the top three. This is where it gets exciting up the backstretch. You got a short shift. Keep the motor down out of the RPM band so you don't spin the tires. Get out of the spray. Get out to the outside. Get away from the spray so you can see and haul the mail up the backstretch. Let's see who's got it. There's DJ. He's paying attention. He's out there. The... Look at this. This is exciting racing in the rain. I'd be willing to put some money on Andrew Ranger. He is very knowledgeable at racing in the rain. He's done it in a number of open wheel series that he's come up through the ranks in driving. But just as I say that, he loses a couple spots down the back straightaway. Kennington and J.R. Fitzpatrick go around, still chasing the four car year leader. When we come to the front stretch, it'll be one lap to go. Look at how loose Kennington and Fitzpatrick are. Fitzpatrick trying to get on the power early. Slides the car around corner number nine and now through 10. Here we go, white flag. Don Thompson out of the racing line down the inside. That's the right way to do it. Into turn one here, we'll get another look. It's Thompson, Kennington, and Fitzpatrick. Boy, Thompson's taking it easy, and that's allowing these two drivers to close the gap. Kennington right there. So is the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick on the outside of corner number two. Oh, J.R., that's a big, bold move around the outside of two. Fitzpatrick holding on. He gets around Kennington. He hangs on on the outside. Oh, he's, the down, he's down in the dirt with his teammate, Don Thompson, but he's in the preferred line. And J.R. Fitzpatrick, without a left front fender, took a look underneath the four of Don Thompson Jr. He's back on the gas. This boy is hanging it right out. This is going to come down. We're going to run up the backstretch. It's going to be a huge, wet drag race up the backstretch. And who can get into that final corner? Clean and mean. In the final lap of the Dickies 200, and here comes Fitzpatrick on the outside of corner five. Big and bold around the outside. He's out of the he's out of the fast lane. This is working good. Now everybody to the throttle. We're all slipping and sliding up through the gearbox. Kennington to the inside. He's going to get a toe. Thompson gave his teammate all kinds of room, but J.R. Fitzpatrick loose as he grabs a gear going down the end, ready straight away. And there's Kennington up into second. You can see the visibility issues they're facing as they head down the back stretch for the final time. Tagliani now up in the fifth spot. They're racing all over this racetrack, baby. This is going to be exciting. Three more corners to go, baby. Don Thompson Jr. a little bit too far back to make a move on the 17 of DJ Kennington. Your leader continues to be the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick through corner number nine for the final time. They're all being careful now. Fitzpatrick not putting that car sideways this time. Out of 10, down the front straightaway, the checkered flag in the air. J.R. Fitzpatrick's going to win. What a race. Kennington comes second all the way from the back of the field. Don Thompson Jr. rounds out the top three. And your pole sitter, the 22 of Scott Steckley, fourth Tangley Eddy rounds out the top five. Wow, very happy J.R. Fitzpatrick crew. Ted McAllister, Jeremy Ritchie, and the entire Fitzpatrick crew. And there is your winner, J.R. Fitzpatrick, as he celebrates victory here in the Dickies 200.